Starting today, Firefox is going to be enabling total cookie protection to Firefox users worldwide. This was an optional security feature that you could have enabled in your Firefox settings for over a year now. It was first introduced in Firefox 86. So obviously now this being a default feature means that far more people are actually gonna be using it because even though Firefox isn't that mainstream of a browser, certainly not as mainstream as Google Chrome or the Safari browser, and it's generally thought of, or at least I think of it, as being more used by techie people. But despite all of that, most people still run stock configs of Firefox. This is why whenever I'm assessing a privacy app, whether it's a browser, a framework, whatever kind of software, I put a lot of value in the defaults. Are they secure defaults? Are they sane defaults? Because that's what most people are going to be using. So what is total cookie protection all about? It's pretty much site isolation. It separates cookies in your browser so that only the site that you are visiting has access to those cookies. So it limits cross-site tracking dramatically and the ability of third parties to be able to track your browsing activities across the internet. So a really practical example of this that probably almost everyone has experienced is with ads say for an appliance or some kind of gadget, it doesn't matter what the ad is for, but you might've been looking at that product on Amazon or Best Buy, or maybe even a similar product, right? Because competing companies will buy ads and, and compete against one another. So you're looking at it on one of those stores and then you don't buy it. You go to YouTube or Facebook to maybe find a review of it. And then you start seeing ads on Facebook and YouTube and on every other, website that you go to. And that's just one really general example. There's links to other articles here on Firefox's blog about the total cookie protection of examples where people applying for FAFSA, the student aid, they're getting tracked by Facebook because apparently on that online forum, there were Facebook trackers that were enabled on it by default for some period of time. So. People are getting their names, their email addresses, and their zip codes sent to Facebook when they just want some student aid. They just want some money to go to college. They don't want anything to do with the Zuck or any of his companies. You know, this is the kind of thing that normally you would have to go through some pretty extensive browser hardening and possibly install some browser add-ons to try and block this kind of tracking. But now Firefox is going to ship these protections by default. And hopefully this doesn't break site functionality as much as some other add-ons and manual hardening techniques that people used in the past did, that's one of the things that you're often going to run into when you start seeking more privacy-friendly solutions for all of your software is the usability seems to go down, or at least you have to learn new ways to interface with the software. But Mozilla describes this as offering strong protections against tracking without affecting your browsing experience. So we'll see. I'm sure that there's still going to be some examples of this breaking functionality because even though these shared cookies are more commonly used for tracking these days, there are some legit cross-domain use cases that this total cookie protection could break. Uh, but anyway, to enable this setting, just go into this hamburger menu here, go into your settings, then go to privacy and security. And then you wanna check the box next to test pilot, our most powerful privacy feature ever. That's the total cookie protection. And then it's going to have you reload all of your tabs. So give it a go if you're using Firefox, especially if you haven't been using any add-ons or configuration tweaks to do this kind of site isolation. I know that Facebook container is a kind of popular add-on that sort of does this, but it only works for Facebook trackers as far as I know. But yeah, try this out and if it breaks some functionality, you can always disable it and you don't have to use it. It's just going to be a default in Firefox moving forward. Uh, but maybe in the future, Mozilla will implement some kind of exceptions list for those edge cases. Cause again, there's going to be some of those. But tell me what you think about total cookie protection in the comments below. Like and share this video to hack the algorithm. And have a great day.